Our own Volcaric, the Polar Penguin, was docked up in Port Trusler to get some broken elevators fixed. Broken elevators were becoming a running theme of this Life Aboard series, but we were about ready to set out again and rejoin the fight against Xenothreat in Operation Overdrive, and the spirits of the crew were jovial on board. Yeah, a very tiny amount of repair, I'm doing the refueling now as well. But what we do, right, is we blame Skiz because he decided to fall out of the ship. <laughs> he did a hundred credits worth of damage. Yeah. <laughs> We were still on phase one of the event, so no space combat just yet. But all the same, the crew were ready to react within the ship's turrets. Starboard turrets, man, just in case. So is port side. We had two more Xenothreat bunker raids to complete, uploading intel to help the UEE with the fight. And our next objective was on Hurston. I think we're jumping into the location right now. Sarah was still with us as an escort fighter and was also making her descent to the planet in her Hornet Ghost. As we were making our way down aboard the Carrack, Sarah would begin to move in to begin engaging the turrets. Oh, this is bad. I can't see them, but they can see me. As far as on the lock screen. The effects of this fight would manifest in a very strange way for us aboard the Karak. I see a lot of red flashing on the ground. Should I be worried about that? Oh, I do see. Oh, I see him now. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah, oh yeah. Hey, yeah. We got a landing strip. What the hell? What? I'm gonna use F. Damn! It's like all over the place. What? I don't see. Oh, oh wait, there's like, like, like fire coming from the. Holy crap! Look or, or it look, actually, it looks like someone's shooting the ground with lasers. Yes. Yeah. Like, that's what that light looks like. Yeah. Right oh yeah, the, those are the turrets firing. Those are the turrets firing. That's what I'm saying. It looks like one of the turrets is just shooting, oh, like weirdly. Hey, no, that, that. Well, I'm focusing on the turrets. Don't crash into me. A friendly Corsair was also on its way down to the surface. Yeah, that was a close cool flyby for a freaking Corsair. It really was. Sorry, cinematic. I can appreciate it. As ever more friendly ships arrived, Sarah was still doing a great job of taking on the turrets on the ground. As the carrot came into range, we'd start receiving fire as well, and my turret was having some technical problems. Oh yeah, we're, 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 we're being shot out. now, we're being shot out. Yeah, I was going I don't have not guns, what's going on? Not on my screen either. There's not many turrets remaining, we can just destroy them as well. Yeah, but turret weapons are not working. Yeah, I was going to shot out as well. Not, not on my screen. Yeah. Wait, wait, there's not many turrets remaining, we can just destroy the main line. Soon though, all of the turrets had been eliminated and we could safely land next to the bunker. Okay, I'll turn it Starboard turret, sir. Starboard turret. Uh, all turrets down. Nice, there's good work, guys. Uh, there's a lot of turrets down here. It's more of me asking, not saying. Oh, oh, no, okay. I'm seeing Sarah, I'm seeing Sarah landing. <laughs> So it was time to go inside, and by now our combined numbers were getting really high. Uh, yeah, this this amount of people is complete overkill for a bunker, but for an actual distribution center, that'd be great. Yeah. Distribution centers are a feature coming up with 3.23 soon and do promise engagement and activities for larger groups to engage with, something that will be very welcome within Star Citizen. All you see is everybody's little white dots. Vlaz had landed on something, causing the ship to be unstable, and in his haste to correct this, he did not check whether anybody was using the ramp at that moment. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, sorry, I Zero, are you okay? Are you, are you in caps? Are you okay? No. Oh! I'm alive. Oil rig, but if you crash your I don't think you can validate that one. These guys won't know what hit him. Once again, I'd be relying on the dependable arc light pistol for the raid to come. Oh, I'm pretty dead. Yeah, I don't, I don't oh, it's, right oh, it's way over there. Okay, over there. I see. Yeah. You might want to take two trips on this elevator. You're, you're... <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys can take a trip down. And we've been given the okay for the first elevator to go hey, down. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, <laughs> jump, okay, jump. We'll <laughs> <laughs> nice. Don't tap me, I'll do it. Once again, we had a couple of people joining us for whom this would be their first ever bunker. Well, it's 
Oh, okay, so. Okay, send it up. Can Someone's I on. I can have to run down. Back here, because I haven't uh, actually been in the bunker yet. Hostiles, oh, okay. No um, yeah. On these bunkers, okay. everyone you see is a hostile. <laughs> if we're apart from us, obviously. <laughs> This bunker was quite lively, with AI reasonably reactive. <laughs> I was joking. Oh, well. Sorry, someone who was right in front of me, I, I hit you with the base there. My bad. Yes. Also, yes, but you can't need captain. Like just failing here. Yeah, you smacked him one, but that one I had I go. had a tiger call and I tried to equip it and now it's gone. So. No, I think we've seen enough of these missions actually being run in this series to just say that we completed the mission and would soon be heading on. With only one more bunker required for most of us, now we were nearing the end of phase one. As we made our way out, the number of ships that we'd brought along in addition to the polar penguin became much clearer. Jeez, we have a fleet of ships out here. But with so many ships in close proximity, accidents can happen, and for Sarah, leaving this bunker would not be straightforward. I, I called it. Do you want to send it down? Down all the way, please. Oh my god, someone's grabbing me with a Corsair. No! Oh dear, oh, no. oh, oh yeah, that's oh, bad. No. Oh, yeah, I Sarah, are you, are you no. fully dead, you know or are you just incapped? No, I blob. Oh. Something we'd been putting off as the missions were rolling in was upgrading the quantum drive of the Polar Penguin. We were running the Erebus drive from the Reunion Rail, but the car has a much better fuel tank than the Reclaimer, so upgrading to a TS2 would cut our travel time down enormously when travelling around. We were heading to Orison next to make it happen. Yeah, I was happy to see the requisite number of uh, Picos being put on board, which is all of them. I'm this guy looks like he's had a bad time. <laughs> yeah. When you have a big crew on board the Carrack like this, then the ship really feels alive on a visit to the galley or mid bay during a long jump. A feeling I am really looking forward to with the upcoming RSI Polaris, and I was not alone in wanting that experience. When the Polaris comes out, this is how many people should be on the, on the ship. This is like what I imagined. Yeah. Like this game. And it's actually really cool to finally see this stuff happen. Yeah. The jump to Orison was a long one, so I'd use the time to relax and rehydrate. Where are we going, Orison? Oh, are we picking up the drive? Yeah. yeah. We had the Aero Boss because the Reclaimer had such a tiny fuel tank for its size. What's ridiculous is this is an exploration ship, and the Herc still has double this thing's fuel tank. Now, just like in the last video, as the night went on, more people were joining us in voice on Discord. And not all of them were at the same point of progression through the five bunker missions that we were. So we decided on Retorison that when we completed our final mission, we would also help those joining us in voice with their own missions after we were done. On the descent to Orison, though, another strange problem would be for Fearball on board. No! Oh, oh, we're jumping as well. When you say it ate you, what do you mean? Um, I fell through the floor. Okay. Oh, are you still in the base? Are you on? No, I'm incapped. Oh, uh, you are. Let's go, let's go look for you. Around I, around I, the... I think I went in the middle of the ship. Okay, we're gonna come and see you. Wait. I was. Sorry. Just hold on. I'm still. I'm still trying to. Oh, okay. is it furball? On the habitation deck, we could get quite close to furball's incap marker. Possibly once we get into the area of Orison, you'll just get sunk into the hospital. Either that or just get yeah. We couldn't reach him though or clip a medgun through the wall, so storing the ship looked like our only option. I need to store the ship anyway to change the quantum drive. If I store the ship, you'll just be popped back to the station, so we can yeah. just do that if you can't, yeah, can't get out. At this time of day, the skies of Orison take on an almost green colour. Vlad was bringing us into the spaceport, and as Cyrus had pointed out, there was a chance that Furball might just be teleported straight to the hospital. All the same though, I'd be trying to head in to store the ship as quickly as possible to free him just in case. Uh, call it in and just give him a billboard. Yeah. True, yeah. Yeah, they're in our I can the... get it on top of the Ursa. I might actually be able to, because I can interact with him. I might be able to drag his body. I'm heading to the yeah, um, he'll thing either now. teleport to the lobby so or just fall down. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, the uh, squad. Uh, 
I love all the NPCs. Uh, for real, this story, you, do you know you're wearing no, no clothes? I put everything into local in case I fell through the elevator. Okay. <laughs> there. That's my excuse. Yeah, but make it quick, because we're, I mean, it's, should be, we want to... With the ship stored and Furball now free, I still needed to buy the new quantum drive and not wanting to keep the crew waiting, I'd quickly make my way to Cousin Crows, a ship parts workshop on the Providence platform. Uh, Katie needs a million credits each, so go ahead and send her a million credits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I only got four. <laughs> Just a million? I mean, I have 18, so if you need a million, that's fine. I still think they should have music playing in here when you come in. I so agree. They, they've gone to all of the work of like creating this cool atmosphere with spray paint and you know like a workshop all it needs is music just to drive it over the the only thing we needed was the ts2 quantum drive this would drastically improve our travel times around the system and with the quantum drive purchased i could return to the spaceport yeah, should have been following you. I don't know where I'm going. Well, now there's... There's two shuttles in a line... ...waiting. And there's just some dude on one. The crew had actually dispersed throughout our ascent during our stopover. So as the shuttle made its route, we'd be picking up familiar faces at each stop. Back at the space park, we'd have to fit the new drive before we could recall the ship. So we're going to swap out the quantum drive. Slowly fill the ship up with double dogs. And before long, it was time to board up again and head out. <laughs> the double dogs, on the other hand. This fat on a double dog, then you get a normal dog. <laughs> And as usual, I'd need to open up the hangar doors before we could depart, this time for our new pilot, Fauna. And as we were leaving, we were again joined by a familiar face. Uh, it's Yarek, I just have to, if you could... Yarek, it's good to sure. see you. Yeah, for most of us, the next job would be our final required bunker to contribute to the event, and it was to be a local one on the desert moon of Daymar. And for this flight, I would join the crew of the lower deck as a co-pilot as Fauna flew the ship to our destination, security post Bouchard. Before heading in, we decided to launch a snub to act as Overwatch. Snubs on board would really come into play during phase two and three of Operation Overdrive. But for now, well, it doesn't hurt to have an extra set of eyes watching your back. Yeah. Uh, belly Our turret is good. No, I didn't want to go through the process of donning armor again all over, so I figured this time I would just wear the regular crew uniform and rely on my arc light as a weapon. But you cannot breathe here on Dema, so the Ursa would be necessary. Anyone who wants to ride in the Ursa is welcome to. I am taking the Ursa because I'm not wearing armor and you can't breathe here, so I'm gonna get as close to the door <laughs> as I can. <laughs> that agree, it's the same thing. Uh, yeah, I just say fly over here. I will be trespassing in 15 minutes. Holy shit. It's like watching a bunch of little ants like exit their. It's really fun. Fetch me their souls. Uh, I think so. Uh, yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah, I don't need this, so go ahead and let you guys do it. Alright, guys. Forget elevator protocol. Okay, that should be fine. This is gonna be shaky again. Whoa. Is that like a. Yellow FS9? Yes. That's sick. Mine's boring and gray. Head on to the elevator. You guys are all taking that same order. You cannot carry spare ammo ready to load in regular clothes, but you can store it in inventory. Besides, we had a lot of backup now with how many of us there were. 
Alpha formation. Here we go. <laughs> Alpha formation. They have Zug that just runs in. I love it. <laughs> and indeed, our numbers would really just allow us to flood the bunker. Hey guys, look for, look for other work. Is this the, the same type of mission as the other one? It is the same type, yeah. Mm. Okay, cool. Uh, there's a good box uh, near the elevator. Two V6s and a grenade launcher. Nice. And I'm watching the grenade solid. launcher, nice. Elevator's open at the, at the end there. You got I'm it, good. Well done. All right, breach upper floors. Very right side. People shoot each other. Hey, Fred. Friend! I love friend. Love friend by unloading an FS9 round into them. Reynolds, can you cover that elevator over behind you? Storage access is clear. Alright, got the, got the key with me. Okay. Of course, the AI isn't always on point, and sadly, sometimes even unable to react at all. There's a dude here. Alright, Zug, I'm just on you right now. Dark, whatever. Yeah, I'm oh, following you. And <laughs> just watch Katie Hi, execute friend. this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised no one commented Nothing's... on me missing the first shot at point blank range. I mean, I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> but I was so we take in the save room and could begin the upload. And for many of us, this was the final required time. Zero, you're in my line of fire. Oh, door. Good work, Artax. Good work. Again, we'll skip the nuts and bolts of the mission itself. But as we were leaving, one of our members would suffer an unfortunate fall into an inaccessible part of the bunker. Uh, pick up my dead body. Oh boy. Wait. Jumped off the wrong balcony. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh there. there's no oh, yeah. retrieving that. Oh, you're in the pit pit. Yeah. No, Wait. Good. You're good. No. Enjoy the ice bath. But I was pretty sure that I could grab hold of the body and recover it. Then can you at least uh, bring me... I got you. Um... Oh, you did? Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Is that, is that no him? One... Yes. Oh. Yep. Okay, good. If no one got me, I know Katie got me. I got you! <laughs> Katie needs to rush to the, the vehicle, so someone has to drag that. Here, I'll meet you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll that's right, yeah. I have the ramp open for you guys when you get here. Okay. Thank you. So courteous. Yeah. I had to dash back to the Uso, so someone else was handling the body. It's been a long con. So it's one. Yeah, someone I'm, try, I'm the... jumping off the ship, but uh, apparently there's okay. Here we go. Just like how I left it. And with that, most of us have completed stage one of Operation Overdrive. This called for a celebratory visit to the galley for some cruise lurks. And during that visit, the ship would get moving once again. Like hey, we're idea. moving. <laughs> Now, as I said, we decided to help others with their own bunker missions as well, and that is exactly what we would do. We won't delve into it too much here, as there's something else that we did that turned out very strange indeed. But one of those bunkers did make it into the channel's first ever short. Again, I was taking out the Ursa because I had no armor on. Like, uh... I should not be standing. I should not be standing. You guys are in charge of that. Is anyone watching my screen now when that happened? That looks so funny. We just threw three people out of the. Oh, we can breathe on you, but yeah, that's fine. We didn't even need the goddamn ASA. And by now, our elevators were getting very busy indeed. Oh, cool. Okay, I fell over. I just tripped. I just tripped and fell, apparently. <laughs> we are warriors and I'm ripping on the entryway of the bunker. Uh, if you guys find a beam, going up the stairs. Let me know. <laughs> I'm clear to be right by storage. I also have a grenade. I also want to thank everybody in the comments that very helpfully pointed out that you can get the access card for the server from the civilian in the bunker. See uh, C5 I have the access card. Okay. <laughs> God. Wow. <laughs> when this mission came to an end, we were actually at a lull when nobody had any more of them available. Oh, where the fuck is the other? Yeah. Someone call it. 
Whoops. All right. Well, we'll we'll go, I'll, I'll come we'll back. wait. Want to go back down again? Okay. So, so the question, question had to be asked, what are we going to do while we wait for someone else to get one of these missions to complete? Ooh, Does I someone want to drive the person? I, I did great driving last time. I'm gonna sit next to Bumblebee. Looking through the missions back aboard the Karak, I spotted the PvP mission, Retake Security Post Korea. Now, the channel server isn't like the old days with the Org. Their focus is about having fun rather than pushing to excel at PvP like we did with the Org in the old days. But the pull of some potential PvP was always kind of inviting, so I thought it might be fun to try and take it on. How much chaos could possibly ensue? Has anyone else got any of the missions they need to run? I am full up, so yeah, I don't have any more of those missions. Well, uh, I don't, I don't. There are a few, we have a few options then. There are things like Repel Raid on Orison or, um, or Retaking Korea. That would be kind of interesting. <laughs> I don't actually know what that is, so that would be interesting. That would be really fun. We'd keep the plan simple for the sake of our newer players, with a team hopping out on foot to clear the station, and everyone else just staying aboard the Karak or in their own supporting ships. For some, this would be their first time ever laying eyes on SPK. Does that mean everyone gets an individual payout? Uh, yeah, I guess so, yeah. For this, I'd be hopping off the ship, so definitely equipping armor again. Luckily, we had enough people to send a respectable number into the station while still keeping the Karak turrets crewed. We had our snubs on board and one or two escorts still around. We had no idea what to expect in SPK. It could be a single player trespassing or an entire org holding it. We're going in. We'd moved to the garage a little prematurely, but the polar penguin was now on approach to SPK, and up ahead, we could even see some of our escorts probing the hostile presence. Okay. I see engine flare. Yeah. Okay. If you want the fury out, someone's gonna have to open up the hangar. Yeah, Ryu, watch our tail. So, can Step someone open the hangar? Alright, I am going to the belly turret right now. I'm down. Yeah, there's Someone multiple ships over here. Is it AI or players? Players. For a better view, we returned to the bridge while we were on approach. This, this is like what I imagined this game was when I first started. This is sick. Yeah. Oh, I see gunfire. Kind of Ryu, yeah, you I got someone that. behind you. Oh, look at that. Traces there. She's got a flying on top, that pilot on your hyper. There's a good bit of uh, yeah. player ships. Ooh. Whoa. That's about four cool. kilometers. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna get down so I can get ready to yeah. EVA. Yes. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Making our way to the station, the Karak had not come under attack, even with many of our support pilots now engaged. Would we face resistance as we boarded the station now? Alright, close up, close up the, uh, no close up the Karak. Close, huh? someone, close exterior, so, yeah. Wait, close exterior on. on the Karak and get moving as well, get moving. Yeah. Uh, I was really hoping I could steal this F7C that's parked here. Alright, let's, let's all move as a group. Let's go over here. Yeah, yeah, let's take We'd seen be making entry. Uh, Alright, move back, hovering near the landing pads. At angle of fire right now. Yep. Well, there's a lot of us. Go and right, cycle. Let's go. Cycling now. Cycling now. Watch fire, guys. Watch fire. Okay, push move, into move, the move. vent. Go forward. Right. Oh, we got people person down. Okay. There's a lot of dead bodies here. Mm -hmm. okay. There were a lot of bodies, but no resistance. Ground floor looks clear. We don't, we're not sure. Be ready. I mean, there's very clearly people on the outside, so... Let us know if you get contact so we can make our way over to you. I think they're talking about firing outside. Looks like we're clear in here. There was nobody inside, so we were heading back out where our ships were definitely getting attacked by a player group. Heading back outside... We'd see some hostility pretty much immediately. Go out the wrong exit. Oh, Someone oh. is shooting at us. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh I believe it. There is a yeah, there is a, a gladius. Yeah, gladius. Oh, we're taking oh, shots. Gladius. No. Yeah, Tarek's taking shot. major oh, fire. I the penguin was under heavy attack. Tarek, bail. Tarek, bail. Target. Bail. Jump, jump somewhere. 
He's below us. I can't shoot There's him. There's an Andromeda? Yeah, yeah, Andromeda is uh, hostile. Oh, that's, that's not good. Eric's gonna die here. Hold red. Good right. work. Outstanding. Can you guys jump? They, they gone. Yes, they gone. Good work, okay, Fauna. Good, good work. Right, well done. Fauna managed to jump the Karak out of danger and was heading to a station for repairs. But now we were kind of stranded here, surrounded by hostile ships. Hey guys, I guess we're going to, need to hunker down a moment because I feel, yeah, I, feel is, I can't help but feel like I, those I, guys are going to come back. Yeah, yeah so <laughs> I, do we want to just go back inside for now? Yes, probably a good idea. It didn't take long before friendly ships were on the way to try and pick us up. So rather than staying inside, it was time to try and make the pickup easier for our incoming friendlies. I'm grabbing a fighter to help support. Nice. Yeah. That, that could help Everybody somewhere to heal. Here. Gladius yeah, is definitely still here. Being on the landing pads was very conspicuous and also hard to pick us up from. We need to EVA up to the rings. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do, it. Do you have a traversal tool? Oh, God, yeah. this is cinematic. As everybody left the station, we get some contact with the current crew again, and Fauna was moving in to get the heavily damaged ship repaired. You made it out though. That's the main thing, is you made it out. You're gonna have to go to a hangar, because the, the pads are occupied. But the Kayak was possibly still considered hostile, and Seraphim Station began engaging them. Oh, 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 oh. we're getting shot. We're locked up. Karak is? Yes. yes. No, it's right. because it's red and it means yes. it's aggressive. I guess gotta, jump uh, gotta... somewhere else. You might have to jump to like a station further away. Yeah, just go to a pad or something, yeah. Stop that, stop that. Oh. Yeah, stop, stop dead. That's oh. <laughs> oh. fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. We, we can save the items, we can save that. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. fine. It's not fully destroyed. Okay. It's just disabled. So, the current crew would be recovering on board items from the soft dead ship while we figured out a strategy to get out of here. We're not gonna get shot up here. Uh. I so wish I'd brought a railgun. But yeah, a railgun would have been so good. <laughs> uh, I have a railgun. I have a railgun. Oh, Vlaz, you're with us and you've got a railgun. See if you can take out that. There's a cutlass up there somewhere. Friendly ships were planning on heading in for us. Players in EVA are hard to spot, so making some distance between the station and us seemed like a good idea. There was an A1 wreck some distance away, and I figured why not head for that wreck. Whoever's still at the station, follow me. I'm gonna go check out this. Um, Ship. Oh yeah, Wait, what I was is thinking that? about that, but I, I think that's soft. Dead, it probably right? is dead, right? But like, we might be able to get out of the trespassing area. You never know. Yeah, most of the things out here are soft dead, hey, but are. it's worth it to try. This is like one of my like worst nightmares in real life, just EVAing out into the void of space. <laughs> but in video game form, it's fine. But as friendly ships began entering the area, the hostile ships would also come back to life. I have no. Oh. I got a contact. Yeah. Got a contact. What have you got? I seem to be chasing skiz. Huh. All we could do was keep making distance. The more distance you make from um, SPK, the easier the pickup will be in theory. Yeah. Also, I don't want to be that guy, but this is definitely an A1 that uh, something tells me it's not gonna fly. No, it doesn't yeah, look functional. We all, this. We, we all know this already. We're going <laughs> As we got closer to the wreck, the hostile ship seemed to take notice as well. Uh, oh, you gotta fly, hold on. Fire, fire, oh, 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 oh. Why? Uh, well, come, on. come on. Our convoy of players in EVA would be pushing out beyond the wreck anyway, but the enemy fire was definitely something to keep cautious about. You you don't want to get too close to it now, because they've clearly indicated that they know it's uh, a landmark. I think we'd be safer if we just floated here. I'm now back strafing in EVA, just so I can observe all of the party markets back there. Soon Lord Wilkins would arrive in a Corsair to attempt a pickup, but the fact that he could not see many of our party markers definitely had an effect on his success. <laughs> Corsair here, if you guys want to head to me. Oh, oh yo, Lord Wilkins with the Corsair. Yo, jump in the back. Oh, we got a pickup? Oh, I see. He even has the taxi oh, yes. skin. The taxi's getting <laughs> Alright, no one's shit. attacking me yet. Hurry up and get in, guys. We can't, he's too far away. Just me, just me. He's 100 meters away, bro. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, we're so far just away. Bail, just bail and then come back. Bail. But the advice to bail was not heeded, and sure enough, very soon, Wootkiss would be spotted and engaged. You're getting shot You're getting at. Shot You're getting you shot at. Go, go, go. Bye. Yeah. Oh, there's another Corsair. It's another Corsair that is firing at you. Is it AI or a... 
No, no it's, it's another no, it's player. 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 Damn. Caught in the middle of yeah. two Corsair is fighting. That's crazy. Zero's helping out. It's another yeah. yellow Corsair, too. Whoa! Yeah, taxi versus taxi. Yeah. Okay. Look at the chain of people yeah, behind me on my screen. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Four nil was next to try to pick up, but the ship was a Pisces, and given our combat history, let's just say we were cautious about boarding, given its extremely low hit points. But really, we couldn't afford to be picky here. Maybe we should get aboard the thing just to jump away. All I asked was that Fauna spool up a destination ready to jump to before anyone jumped on board. Before we board, can you have like a dis destination already to yeah, like start and spooling? And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was not going to go to plan. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit. Oh, Holy no. shit. <laughs> 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 that you. He's going after zero. He's going after zero. <laughs> that was a movie moment. I For real, almost that was got amazing. Him. Next, Lord Wookiee would be back in a Hercules, and his approach this time was definitely different. Get yourself close together. I'm gonna try to scoop you with the Hercules. Uh, okay, group on Kristoff um, again. Careful. Yo. That gun. Whoa, oh my god. What did I get? Someone just fucking rammed into me. Dude, that was way oh, too fast. No, that was like flew like inches behind me. Yeah, there's someone on uh, Oh, Lucas. Lucas is getting attacked. Yeah, Lucas, you are. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. That's okay. We're good. We're good. We got this. You just gotta hold him on for 10 more seconds. Getting attacked by ballistics. Yeah. Woodkiss was heading out evading enemy fire. Next, Fauna would return, but almost immediately get spotted this time. There's a ship near the I'm, Fauna. I'm stay away from you guys. Fauna, careful. You're gonna get shot at again. Missile incoming, I think. Missile incoming. Yeah. Oh, that was a hit. Yeah, Fano's being attacked. <laughs> inferno. Yeah. Alright, yeah, that, that Inferno is Hanger 20, Hanger 20. Something yeah, that Inferno is like... Coming to pressure the Inferno. You could vent some of your oxygen to get Ooh. a boost. Someone, Someone flew just flew right by, by real by. close. I could hear that. Yeah, that's, Someone uh, flew by real that's close. one of ours. We're fine. Again, Wookiees was basically trying to scoop us up at full speed, which was both terrifying and really unlikely to work. More likely to kill us than to rescue us. Did I get- Whoa! Whoa. So Did that work? Probably, probably... Was, was that your attempt at a pickup? I'm stupid! On one person. You, you are the biggest threat to us right now. Open, so Please group just on gone one person. Straight through. We had some friendly fighters on the scene by now to tie up the enemy a little, and finally Wookiee slowed down to a stop, close enough for us to get on board. Keep an eye out on radar. Come in high on the ramp because you don't want to end up in that weird. Like oh, that's too much. He's fine. Do I need to get going or what? Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay yeah, right there. Just stay. Hold them. No, stay right there. You should be good. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm, 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 I'm on board. I'm on board. Side. Start yeah. getting on the turrets. Yes. Good idea. Just turn. Yeah, careful for now. And they. I was keeping him. And F7A or F7C. Hostile or friendly? Oh, hostile. Oh, go, go, go. go. Roll, roll. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Should we? Wait, should we? This is a storm. Do you see? Jumping. Good. Okay. So we'd made it out, but for the second time in this series, we'd lost the Karak. Now, this wasn't anybody's fault. The station had just read the ship as hostile, but it did mean we'd need to go load up a fresh one for stage two and three of Operation Overdrive. And with space combat now the focus, we'd get to see just how good carrying snub fighters on board the Karak can be. How will we get on? Join us next time to find out. As always, I want to thank all of you at home for watching and all of our very generous patrons who you can see on screen right now. These very generous people keep this channel going and I want to thank each and every one of them for that support. And in this video, I would especially like to thank Rain29 and Toothpicket24, who both recently became backers of the channel on Patreon. Thank you both for your support. That is a huge help and I really appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be back with more from Napoleon Penguin very soon.